for coming online, and honestly, I am starting to look obsessed with this game because, for whatever reason, I honestly cannot get enough. There we go, letting everyone, letting everyone know I'm online, and we're gonna go ahead and start. Um, I don't know, man. I'm just really having that good of a time. It may sound really stupid, but I just that's just how good of a time I'm having with this game. Like, we're already... I don't know how far we are into the game, but man, this thing's got my full fucking attention right now. I can't... I can't stop thinking about this game. It just literally has my entire attention. Like, 100%. And so, I don't know if we're gonna... I don't think we're gonna 100% this game, but we're probably gonna play this game quite a bit of the ways through, you know? I don't know why, but this has just been... This has been, like, everything I'm thinking about right now. Even my trainer's ready. She's like, yes! Yes! She's also extremely ready. Did you really just mean look me? I can no longer escape. Don't you mean? You can no longer escape. They weren't ready. They weren't ready. Um, you know one thing I totally forgot to check? I forgot to check to see if my, um... If my raid notifications were working. Oh well. Ugh! Fuck are you, bro? According to one theory, Mount Coronet is where the Sinnoh region began. In a newly created world, a world where only time flowed and space expanded. There should have been no strife. But what became of that world? Because the human spirit is weak and incomplete, strife has spread. This world is being ruined by it. I find the state of things to be deplorable. <laughs> My character. Okay. <laughs> well, I hear Lucy doing a hello there. And Big Sad, it did not play for some reason. Lameo, okay. Well, here, you know what, Lucy? I'll respond to your hello with a... Yo! Yo! What's, what's up, up? dogs? There we go. There's another Bidoof. Why is it always a random fucking Bidoof? Can it ever just be, like, I don't know, any other animal? Like, bro. It's so weird. It's so weird. Wait, was this just the long way around? Wait, was this literally just the long way around other than Rock Smash? Oh no. The weirdest thing about beat fighting match off is it's so human-like that it makes it just uncomfortable, you know? Like, it, it makes it very, very uncomfortable for me to, like, fight. Or just, just for some reason, it just makes me that uncomfortable. Um, also, I really don't want to fight you. Because you're really low level, so just be kind of bullying at this point, you know? But yeah, all I've been thinking about is, like, my Pokemon team and, you know, how I'm going to build them and what Pokemon is going to level up at what time and everything like that, you know? Even though I don't, I didn't fully memorize, like, when Pokemon fully evolve because I didn't want to spoil it for me. But that's what I've been thinking about. I was like, okay, when this Pokemon evolves, will I be able to do this and, you know, all those things. Because I also don't even know what gems I'm going to go into. I was actually talking about Pokemon a lot at work as well, because, I don't know, like I said, it's just been on my mind. I was talking about how uh, some of the legendaries in Pokemon are really, really cool, while other legendaries aren't nearly as cool, in my opinion. Did I catch it? It was a mosquito. I mean, that'd be pretty badass if I did catch it. I think I did. He's definitely gone. Okay. <laughs> You're just a little kid! How are you supposed to beat a big man like me? He's not prepared, chat. Little does he know, I literally have a rifle. Like Robert. Roberto. Send out Geodude. Well, your rock guy does not stand, stand a chance versus my fish. I was gonna say, <laughs> aren't you also super effective versus me? Because you also have ground type moves? Too bad you didn't get to use them. Whereas Geodude like a pure rock type. There's a lot of rock ground types, so I didn't know if this was like a like a special occasion or not, you know? Sorry, Geodude. But this is not your time. This is my time! 
yeah, when I actually uh, get offline today, I might look up how to download Pokemon Conquest as a, uh, you know, was it ROM or something like that. I can't remember the specific term for it. I'm a grown-up, but I got served by some little kid? Oh, no. His ego just took a giant blow, chat. Oh, that's a fighting type guy. We are going to swap. Uh... Here, we'll do this. This Karate Man is... Okay, too bad. Skip your dialogue. Don't care, Karate Man. You can do your karate all you would like, Mr. Kyle. Sent out Machop. Man's at a force palm into that Pokeball throw. The, little does he know, I am over-leveled and beyond prepared. Fool. I came prepared. Revenge. Oh, God. Oh. Pfft. Oh, yeah, aren't bug types, like, strong against fighting types? Which is weird, because I feel like if you're good enough at fighting, you absolutely could karate chop a bug in half. I don't know, he's like the exoskeleton. There's probably some specific reasoning. I mean, there's some Pokemon advantages that make sense. And, like, other ones that don't really make all that much sense, you know? Like, I could see a fighting type beating a normal type. I could see a fighting type breaking a rock, because, you know, they, they karate chop, like, rocks in half and shit like that. But, like, why does flying eat fighting? Does it just fly away? I mean, I guess, but wouldn't that just be everything, then? Welcome in, Luna. How are we doing? Hopefully we are doing swell. Wait. I was supposed to push on here? Oh. I did not know about that. If I beat you, will you share some food with me? Mance came here for the food and nothing else. You got Cheesecake Factory for dinner? So weirdly enough, hearing about Cheesecake Factory, I heard that they actually do sell stuff there that isn't cheesecake, even though I literally thought they only sold cheesecake. Like, from my understanding, that's what they sold was cheesecake. And, like, that's it. Like, they just sold cheesecake. And that's why I always heard, like, when people said, like, oh, yeah, I went out to eat a Cheesecake Factory, and I was like, you did? You feel sick? You just ate cake for dinner? So, like, in my mind, they have a giant menu of non-cheesecake. Yeah, and see, like, to me, that makes, like, no sense. I'm like, what? Why would they have non-cheesecake at the Cheesecake Factory? I feel lied to and manipulated. Dare I say bamboozled. This poor Onyx won't even know what hit him. Just like I didn't know what hit me. I got smacked down. Oh, a Pokemon's awaiting directions? I hope so. There we go. There we go, Drog. That's how we take down an Onyx. Hiker Jonathan. We were starved for food, and now we're starved for a win. Jesus Christ. This man has no food and no money now. Kind of fucked up, don't you think? I should probably, like, you know, give him something. I can't just You're doing it. it wrong. Do it right. I'm doing it wrong. Are you sure, Lucy? I literally just stole this man's food, time, and money. He's literally taking the fattest L I've ever seen. This man's going to literally die. And he gets no bitches. Chat's right. He gets zero bitches and zero food. That sucks. That really sucks. That's why he is him and we are us. Swap. There we go. Oh, wild battle. All right. What are they? <gasps> no, it's a barrel. It's a bee barrel. I don't want to fight a barrel. They have Hyper Fang. At least I'm pretty sure they have Hyper Fang, don't they? Like, Hyper Fang does crazy good damage, if I remember correctly. Hello. Don't say a word, just take it. Odd Keystone. Fucking what? Rather odd. <laughs> Vital item is needed to keep a stone tower from collapsing. Voices can be heard from it occasionally. Go to Route 209. Head to the Grand Underground. 
listen to the stone pillar. Talk to Spelunkers. Oh, that's how you get Spirit Tomb. Okay, okay. 209? What the fuck is Route 209? Where is that even? Oh, this is 208. That's 209. Okay, so it's literally just right after here. I can live with that. I can live with the route that's literally just right after here. A Panath Berry? What the fuck is a Panath Berry? You're in your Pokemon PJs? Okay, I gotta ask. What Pokemon are on your PJs? Like, do you have just like, oh, like a bunch of Pokemon on the PJs? Are they like Mew? I assume they're Pikachu or Eevee PJs. Or Jigglypuff, because I think Jigglypuff is like one of the main Pokemon, like in Japan. Like, like how Pikachu is for the rest of the world, I think Jigglypuff was like that way for Japan. Or something like that. I can't really remember. Psyduck on the shirt and an assortment, of, an assortment on the pants. Psyduck is adorable. Psy Psyduck is a really cute Pokemon. That's why I will say that really helps Pokemon. Pokemon can ha have a lot of really cute Pokemon amidst it, you know? Like, but I will say it does kind of go against having scary Pokemon. Like, there's, there's not a lot of scary Pokemon out there. At least not drawn in, like, a lot of the styles that they have. A Nanab Berry? I'm about to Nanab me some berries. How about you go Nanab yourself some bitches? Ooh. Ooh. You know, I wonder how many years it's going to be before the no bitches meme dies. It's going to be like one of those permanent memes. It just never goes away. Oh, you want to have a battle? I was meaning to enter a super contest show, but beating you won't take long. <laughs> Some, is someone going to tell her? How about you, Nanab, these nuts? Ooh. Ooh. Lady Hannah sent out Combi. Remember, is poison even good versus bug type? First things first, toxic spikes. Dude, I don't know who you thought you were doing damage to, but I know for a fact you didn't think you were doing damage to me. Not to the edgy gamer, the best Pokemon master, all right? I think that lowers my accuracy, right? Like, really bad. Oh no, my evasiveness. I wasn't planning on dodging anyways. I plan on taking this to the face. And you're planning on taking this to the grave. I saw a dog while sweeping the parking lot at work today. First off, sweeping the parking lot. I need some context. Because in my mind, I see you outside sweeping literally the parking lot. So I don't really know what to think outside of just why do you have a broom and why are you sweeping the parking lot? Secondly, love. Dogs. Doggos are adorable. <laughs> trash in the parking lot. See, people are so fucking trashy. As soon as they get outside, they just start throwing trash everywhere. It's like they don't fucking care. It's, it's just, I mean, I guess, yeah, they don't care, but it's, it's so fucking gross. I hate it. Ha. Huh. Trashy. Dude, they are. Literally, people make the Pokemon... IRL people are more trashy than a Muck and a Garboder combined, alright? It's absolutely horrible. It's it's genuinely impressive sometimes. Oh, you have us beaten. I stole this lady. I, I stole this old this lady's lunch money too. Stealing everybody's lunch money. You and I. Let us create a scene, a fantastic tableau of battle. If I even remotely pronounce that right. What is a tableau? And <laughs> fucking Mime Jr. Okay. Okay. Mime Jr. and Mr. Mime. So, Mime Jr. just looks creepy. Mr. Mime is just here to hook up with your mother. You know how your dad left to go get the milk? Um, he left because Mr. Mime was way too much of a threat. Did you really just encore the move that is gonna kill you? You fucking genius. 
absolute genius. I got a scratch underneath my fucking nail. Ooh! Like you got scratched or are you itchy under your nail? Because both of those are horrible. Onsly? Oh, that's a rock type, right? Yeah, that's a rock type. We're going with Fish. You know, the weirdest part about Fish, in my opinion, right? Is that I keep thinking it's like a fish name. It's like you would name a fish Fish. Because it's funny. But no. It's a gigantic. Gigantic rock rhinoceros. So, like, every time I look at my team and I'm like, this is so weird. What are these names? I'm trying to remember the names. Because I won't lie to you guys, a lot of the time I do name my Pokemon what they are. Because I'm so bad at nicknames. Because I feel, so I feel awful about it. Magnificent! I am a glow with inspiration! Damn, and he paid me for that inspiration. I made coleslaw work, and who the fuck eats coleslaw? Who the fuck does eat coleslaw? Shit sounds nasty. Like potato salad, bro. I've never seen anyone eat it in my life. Okay. Actually... I don't know what this means, but we're going to go with sure. I really have no idea how the fuck to use any of this nonsense. You get irrationally upset when someone adds to the dishes you're currently doing. Um, did you say irrationally? Because there is no irrationality to getting upset when people add to your dishes. It's all rational. If I'm fucking washing dishes and somebody dares walks up and puts more in there while I'm washing, I don't care. You can leave them in front of you and then you can fucking go wash them after I'm after I'm done. Okay, don't don't you dare put them bitches in the sink while I'm washing. There is there is no irrationality to that. That is perfectly understandable. Are you the forgetful type who loses track where berries are planted? Yes. Yes, yes, I thought so. I'm the same way. The town map shows you where there are ripe berries that are ready to be picked. Do they? Um, would you like some berries? They're all plump and ripe. I thought you said they were free. Let's get a petch berry. I made it by mixing high-grade soil with Pokemon, um, you know, it's very rich in nutrients. Everyone seems to call me the Berry Master. I hand out berries daily because I want people to learn how wonderful they are. You're deserving of one. You obtained a Mago Berry. What the fuck is a Mago Berry? I'm getting stuff I've never even heard of, chat. Restores the user's HP in a pinch, but will cause confusion if the user hates the taste. Watch. As I'll say, watch. I get like that at work. Don't tell me my manager is that. Don't tell my manager is that. Barry D's not <laughs> so dumb. <laughs> you guys sound like fucking Devin. Jesus Christ. <laughs> if you say a hearth home city, I only say this. Super contest shows. I'm going to enter my darling Pokemon in them. Hearthum City is a great place. Every year it gets voted the most desirable place to live in Sinnoh. Actually, watch it be a fucking dump. Alright, Baneri. Oh, thank goodness that you happen to be there. If it weren't for you, who knows how far away my Baneri could have ran. Maybe B Baneri, back into the Pokeball you go. I'm Ke Kira. I'm a super contest show judge. Please drop by the contest hall so I can thank you properly. Okay. How the fuck do public restrooms get so dirty? Hold on, I'm to the paper on the floor. There is no amount of human studying that will ever explain why pe why people are so dirty in public. I don't understand. Like, I, I forget that- I always forget that, like, people are animals and mammals and shit until I ever hear about anything done in the public, and I'm like... How? How is it possible? One, two, step, one, two, flip, and turn. All right, lady. You're a trainer, aren't you? You've got two choices of challenges. Either the gym or a super contest show, right? I'm definitely doing the gym. Arthur City, warm and kind. Sounds wholesome. Hi, hi, do you want a Pokemon egg? They found this at the Pokemon nursery in Solosian Town. Do you want to take it? 
sure. It'll probably be a while before I, um... I've seen some literal shimmer cleaning restrooms. Yes! Ridiculous. If you take that egg and travel with energetic Pokemon, it'll hatch. I remember someone announced that Professor Elm of Johto, maybe. I don't think I have any energetic Pokemon. Like, I'm almost certain I don't have energetic Pokemon. Relaxed, naughty, bashful, gentle, mild. Yeah. Um, the egg watch. What Pokemon will hatch from this egg? It doesn't seem close to hatching. Oh boy. Why is there just a random fisherman? And why is he smiling? I'm visiting here all the way from Hoenn region. I had been hoping to find the contest hall, but being new, I lost my way. Fortunately, the local people were kindly led to me by to my destination. I was impressed by their kindness and generosity to a complete stranger. Now, may I offer you the courtesy of showing you to the contest hall? Sure. Please, follow me. Like, there's a drain in the floor. No, yeah, it's, it's, it's actually insane. How that even remotely happens. I don't get it at all either. I work at retail, and thankfully I do not have to clean anything like that. I would lose my damn mind. Contest hall? Okay. Let me go check out all these other places first, because they're more important. Like, with this random house. Hello, stranger. I've broken and entered your house. Hiya. Well, I've seen you somewhere before. Where was it again? Hold on, it'll come to me. Oh yeah, you're the one who was battling those scary-looking guys in Jubilife City. I was really curious about you after that, so I went ahead and did a little research. And then surprise, surprise, turns out you're connected to the famous Professor Rowan. And you've been going around defeating gym leaders, too. I seriously thought my eyes were going to pop out of my head. Oh, sorry. There I go, running my mouth again. It's me, Bebe. You remember me, don't you? I'm the one who gave you those ball capsules. And hey, you know those Pokemon boxes you've been using. I'm the, si the system administrator of them. Alright, lady. Rowan is a kill. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> I went for a stroll in a midi square with my Brad Patrice today. Came across a cute sticker while we walked. You think placing this on a Patrice's ball capsule will make my Patrice look even cuter? I mean, possible. I'd like to live in the Hearth Home City when I get married. My boyfriend wants to live in a Bellstone because of his department store. Nice. What the hell is this? Looks cool. Hello, lady. I used a water zone on my Pokemon and it evolved! <gasps> I mean, that's fancy, I guess. Yo? Okay. <laughs> I was about to say, my guy? What the hell? Oh, this. When people in Pokemon join hands, everyone's happy. Makes everyone come together. It could even make the world one! I mean, I guess so. What is this? Does it not tell me? Just random Pokemon statues, okay. Can I not talk to you? Okay. There's still words that not everyone can describe. The words are love and joy. Pokemon people, it's only natural that we are all so very different. Make sure that you never judge a Pokemon based on whether it's weak or strong. You must always look for the good inside of them. That's what counts. Tell all the professional Pokemon players that. It's not about it's not all about your IVs and EVs. If the Pokemon loves you enough, it'll land a crit when it needs to. The art of crafting things fatigues one's spirit. When the spirit is healed and the desire to make something returns, it is such a wondrous cycle. Alright. And there do I see my father, my son, my life. And there do I see nature, Pokemon, the world. Okay. Well, I was talking about the Sinnoh region at work today, and I was talking about how cool the legendaries are, and how much I love Palkia, Dialga, and Arceus, and Giratina. How, like, they, I, in my opinion, they struck gold with, like, the design of all those Pokemon. The space, the space, time, the god Pokemon, and then Giratina. Like, they just, every single one of them are so fucking cool. Like, I actually don't really think I know anybody that dislikes Palkia, Dialga, Giratina, or Arceus. I can feel the baby stroller getting heavier each and every day. I wonder what kind of Pokemon my child will become friends with first. What does this, what does this say? Poffin House! Ooh! I want some Poffins! All my Pokemon deserve Poffins, okay? I want everyone to know that. Oh, this looks cool. Hello. Have you got some berries? To make delicious Poffins, they, the key ingredient is a rare berry. Also, Poffins will come out yummy if you cook berries as quickly as possible. 
but it's still slowly enough that you don't spill the batter. IS THAT THE GRIM REAPER?! No? It's just a grandma. <laughs> I, I hope she's not the Grim Reaper. <laughs> Eating good food makes people and Pokemon more energetic and happy. In that sense, we're exactly alike. Jesus, guys, you scared the shit out of me. Hi, let's get cooking. Here's my advice on cooking tasty poffins for your Pokemon crew. In the beginning, while still a batter, swirl it and gently. Swirl it gently and avoid spillage. When it starts to harden, turn it fast in big circles. At the end, make a wish for it to turn scrumptious and whirl it. Yo, what? Lameo, worth it. <laughs> Scared the fuck out of me. <laughs> Hello? Here you may cook berries and turn them into poffins. Let him cook. Sorry, you must have a poffin case if you want to cook some berries. The fuck do I get a poffin case? Rude. Rude. Yeah, you that that one that one has not jump scared me in a while. You definitely jump scared me. You're fun to tease, Sir Flat Ass. I do not have an ass. You would be absolutely correct. Welcome, may I help you? Yes, I am here to buy. I have a lot of money. I've got 10 repels. Hello. I'd like to buy the item revive, but they won't sell it to someone with only two gym badges. Oh, you need more gym badges to buy stuff? Fucking <laughs> Lucy with that one, Jesus Christ. <laughs> that one always scares the shit out of me, bro. I can't. No, 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 no. <laughs> Trying to smack your ass, like hitting a brick wall. I've heard there are lots of stickers to be found. Someone told me that you can find someone in the midi square. Are you telling me I need to do more squats, chat? Is that what you're telling me? Are you telling me I've not been doing enough squats? I really don't do a lot of squats, in all honesty. Pokemon Fan Club, all trainers welcome. Now, I usually work out my core a lot. That's that's the main thing I always work out. I doubt that helped. <laughs> They're like, that. you have an unfixable problem. You are beyond help, Edgy Gamer. Your ass is so flat. <laughs> they use it as a fucking level, all right? It, levels aren't even as flat as your ass is, okay? I'm sorry. Stream and squats, lol. Not gonna stream me doing squats. <laughs> I can stream me doing a hula hoop. I know how to hula hoop. You know the thing you put around your core and you spin around? I can do that. Welcome to the Pokemon fan club. Oh, you're Melina? It's warming up to you. That's my impression. Fucking hope so. Hello, hello! How I say do you do? I'm the Pokemon Fan Club Chairman, indeed, yes I am. When you wish to treat your Pokemon to a treat, what I say you do if I may say so. And I will! I feed Poffins to my Pokemon. And why I say, would I do that? Because the giving of Poffins is a way of expressing your love. For example, if I were to give a sweet Poffin, the Pokemon eat eating it would become more cute. For example, a spicy Poffin will add to the coolness of a Pokemon. In such ways, I say that Poffins have nothing but goodness for Pokemon. Therefore, I declare this Poffin case to be a gift from me to you. You don't even have an ass, just cr just a crack on your lower back. Damn. I urge you to fill it with poffins to be generous in dispensing them to your Pokemon. Nationwide, there are other fan clubs, but we are number one. And why are we number one? Because I brag more than anyone. But now, I can't brag as much. People started complaining, so I've had to curtail my bragging. You should brag more. There's nothing where your ass should be. <laughs> Jesus. Is it a roast fest tonight? Is that what is that what we're doing? Hi, lady. Let me cook.
Yo, what is this mini game? I'm spinning batter. Oh my god. Oh Jesus. <laughs> I'm getting too aggressive, chat. I will win! Oh my god, slow down a little. Fuck you! How is this fast? Yo, burn, hurry! 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 Oh my god! Oh my god! What do you want me to do? I burnt it, apparently. <laughs> no! No! <laughs> no! I'm a failure! Speaking of roasting, I present to you a roasted poffin. You put away the foul poffin in the poffin case, would you like to keep cooking poffins? I guess so. <laughs> Yo, I cannot with this shit. Okay, what the fuck does it want me to do then? You're this doing it wrong! I do am it right. doing it wrong! It said do it slow at first. I need to do it quickly. I think I just need to do it quickly the whole time, but not like spill it, you know? Motherfucker, I will slow down if I feel like it. No, you slow down a little. This is obviously about speed. All right. Oh my god. Just don't overflow. Yes! It doesn't look Freaking crispy! Oh, sweet poppin'. There we go. Hot diggity dog. I made a perfect poppin'. Okay, we're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna nab some bitches with some nabs. I'm gonna, I'm gonna be the master at cooking poppins here in a minute. Check it. Because the game was like, oh, do it slow, do it slow. No, fuck you. like this one. So what I think it is, is it takes like less turning to fill it up faster, like at the beginning. Then later, it takes more turning to fill it up faster. So it's a little exponential, because by the end, you were like, okay, let's spin this bitch, like right now. I'm actually going a little bit faster. And then to slow down a little, like it's literally lying to me. I need to be going fast. It needs to be the like entire thing. Oh no! Fuck. I I thought it had to be higher to leak. I was I'm. Oh my god. Oh my god. Ah! Spin, bitch, spin! Go! I'm gonna break my poor controller. There we go. Don't be burnt. Ugh. Green. I would not want to eat a fucking poffin that's green. No. You're not that guy, pal. Trust me. Fuck. You're not that guy. Okay. All right. So let me check what my Pokemon like. My Pokemon be like sour, spicy, anything, dry. That sour, sour, spicy, bitter, dry. Well, we'll see. Uh, oh, there we go. Open. <laughs> Got a lot of foul poppins, bro. We got bitter, 
then we have sweet. I can't remember who likes that. Who likes sour again? I can't remember. I've, I just memorized all my Pokemon and what they like, but I immediately got so confused by the menu that I forgot what they like. You like sour. Yeah, you like sour. Okay, well, screw um, Mel Melina. You are, you are going to get this. Register, we're gonna go to the left. Off in case. Give you sour one. Or is that bitter? Oh, we don't have a sour one that's bitter. We don't have a well the dry one. Would you like dry? God damn it, well now I can't remember what anybody likes. Fuck! Why is this why does this require so much memory? I can't memorize all these. Sour, spicy, we don't have any spicy or sour. We have bitter, dry, and any. Bitter, dry, and any. Bitter, dry. I think you like bitter. Right? Right? Maybe? You love it, don't you, Drog? Come on now. Yes! He likes it! He doesn't hate me for it. He's clever. Uh -huh. I don't think you... We'll give sweet to Jigglypuff. Here you go, Jigglypuff. There you go. Aren't you just so cute with your baby doll eyes like you're gonna steal my damn soul? Aw, oh, your cuteness enhanced. Good. And then bitter. Who liked bitter? Well, it, I guess they're also sour, technically. Let's see. <laughs> Scorpions eat some fucked up shit. Maybe you like this. I don't know. Melina ate the poppin. <laughs> oh, it oh it enhanced everything. Oh well, well our girl is gonna get everything then. If she likes it all. Then we're gonna give it to her. She doesn't need to be cute. She is beautiful, all right? She is a she is a clever, tough, cool beauty, all right? She is literally a girl boss. I I dare anyone in chat to fight my girl boss, Melina Sk Skaroopy. <laughs> you will not tolerate cute. Well, I'm glad to see that my scorpion will literally eat anything. Anybody else know somebody like that who will just fucking eat anything? Because I don't know how people do that. I don't know how people just, like, eat anything. I could never. I'm so fucking picky with food. It's ridiculous. So when I see people who are like, oh, yeah, I'll eat it. Just literally anything. And I'm like, what's wrong with you? You good? At least that's my thoughts. Well... Now I've destroyed some food. We may continue. <laughs> These mini games are fun. When I take my baby out on a stroller, I see the town in a very different way. I notice things like stairs and bumps on the sidewalk. Well, what? Well, I got the Zoroak plush, Zoro plushie. Um, the only Pokemon plushies I have is a Trico. I would love more Pokemon plushies. I don't know if he'll stay. His tail is very heavy, so it makes him very it makes him lean forward. Mm. Like his tail is fuck. His ass, unlike mine, is fucking massive. So, you know. You will. Oh, come on, come on. Yup, perfect. This is comfortable. This is a really comfortable way to sit. Isn't that right, Trico? Oh, he he disagrees. He disagrees extremely. <laughs> People all over the world follow super contest shows. What should I do? I could captivate the whole world! There are the super contest shows. Then we have a midi square. We have visitors from all over, so we need to keep the city looking nice.
You know how dangerous it is for this place to have an elevator with no stairs? It is vol it tis voluptuous. A slight hill in the road is bigger than your hands. I have something for your Pokemon to hold. Take the shell bell. Is that like the friendship item or whatever? Restores a little HP. The holder restores a little HP every time it inflicts damage to others. Oh shit. Um. Let's see, I feel like Jigglypuff could really, really gain from that. That would be really good. But, um. Uh, mmm. Right now we'll give it to Fish because Jigglypuff can't be used that much, so it'll be good for now. It's a useful item. Okay. Thank you. I'm, I'm really enjoying my little strategy game. Well, that was a, that was a useful hotel visit. It's like just a one random item, but I will always take one random item. Thank you, game. Why is this way blocked? You're kidding, they found an egg at the Pokemon nursery in Cilician Town? I hear they found eggs in Johto region too. What kind of eggs? I wonder how long I have to walk around for this egg to hatch. I lived in the total seclusion up in the mountains for 30 years. I'm going to clean up at some of the super contest shows with a dance move I came up with. He just like watched TV while he was stuck up there in the mountains? Is that what he did? Um, I don't think I healed up yet. Let's heal up yet. My dumbass really was going to be going around into a gym for getting to heal up again. Good thing it's not an Uzlock. Hello, do you have a Poffin case? If you've got one, you really must visit the Pokemon fan club. Already been there, done that. Old news. They're saying the gym leader, Fantina's not around. <laughs> she must have heard I'm around and chickened out. <laughs> have you seen the globe of the GWS in Jubilife City? It's so awesomely, it's so awesomely awesome. I can't really explain it well, but it's downright wicked. A man's got away with words. Could not. Your bed is so fucking comfy, for real. My bed is actually pretty comfy, too. I like my bed a lot. Even though I don't have a box spring or anything, it's literally a mattress on the floor. It's so fucking comfy. It's, it is really comfy. Well, now you're a trainer. That makes you both Papa and Mama to your Pokemon. You know how having Pokemon around leads to new discoveries? It's the same for parents and kids. I'm always learning from my kids. Okay, I mean, I guess that's wholesome. When I grow up, I want to become a Pokemon coordinator. I don't really know what that is, but okay. Babies and Pokemon get along perfectly together. When babies take naps, Pokemon go to sleep right next to them. Well, it's kind of like when you see babies and like do like little dogs. When I get bigger, I'm gonna go to gonna be a trainer too. Oh wow, you're a Pokemon trainer. Having lots of Pokemon around is a lot of responsibility. But also comes with a lot of fun. Lots of fun indeed. My sisters get all the attention. No one even notices me. Big sad. Aw, it's it's kind of adorable. I do know that, like, anytime I've ever seen, like, a family, and they have, like, a child and then, like, a dog with the child, like, whether it be a small dog or a big dog, they're always, like, very protective of a child. I don't think I've ever seen, like, the whole, uh, what is it? The whole, like, you know, <laughs> this, these dogs are baby eaters. Every dog I've ever seen around, like, babies or children are usually very protective of the children. I'm babysitting my aunt's dog, and I'm in love with him. See, and that makes sense. Hearthom is a kid-friendly city, they say, but I, I disagree. Hearthom City is friendly to kids, grown-ups, and Pokemon, too. All my grandchildren are clamoring for Pokemon of their own. It may be tricky to manage it, but it will brighten up the mood more. A world in which people are compassionate to others, that's all that matters to me. Oh no, there are no stairs in this house. It's easier that way. The lack of stairs makes it easier for the little Pokemon to get about. Freaking Team Galactic on the TV. Today we'll examine a wild Pokemon live in the field. And here we go, a wild Toxicroak conveniently just came along. I was holding something, let's roll up on it and take a look. Hi there, can I take a look? Yowch! Yeah, it scratched my finger. But okay, we, we now know the wild Toxicroak have the possibility of holding a blob of black sludge. Thank you, Toxicroak, here's your black sludge back. Ow, ow, scratched me again? As usual, I got a Pokemon riled up at me. It's time for me to go, so long. 
weird ass newscast. Bro ran up, stole from a fucking Toxicroak, and then immediately got attacked. I call him Beefy or Beef Boy or Beef Man or Beef Wellington or Chunk. <laughs> um, but yeah, like I remember seeing my uh, my aunt's pit, uh, blue pit bull. That dog was so overly protective that uh, during the time it lived with like a baby. I was given a TM for strength in the Lost Tower. Lost Towers were at 209 on the way to the Celosian Town. But yeah, like any time that baby did anything, that dog had to be there. Mini Square East Gate stroll with your Pokemon. Oh, I get to stroll with my Pokemon. I find this gate, you'll find a paradise where lots of Pokemon play, so I've heard. <gasps> really? Super sweet dog, loves the attention. Appalled, they refused entry to my Pokemon. Oh, my poor Gyarados and Steelix. <laughs> you can take a cute Pokemon out for a stroll in the Midi Square. What is considered a cute Pokemon? You can take a cute Pokemon out on a stroll for a Midi Square. Which Pokemon would you like to take on a stroll? What? What? You were telling me that Fish and Melina are not cute? Bullshit. Fine. We're gonna walk with my Drog. Fuck you. Okay, your other Pokemon can go on ahead to the square and play. <gasps> Yay! I'll be waiting for you in the square. Have a great time. Let's go, Drog! What? Oh, he fucking teleports? How do you feel, Drog? He's very pleased. Drog is skipping happily. <laughs> he is. Oh, it's a turtle. Duh. Poor guy. He is. He is trying his absolute best. Can you go down the stairs? You can do it. You can do it, Drog. I believe in you. Come hang out with your with your friend Jigglypuff. Aw. Jigglypuff looks like it's feeling light. <laughs> This is a very slow stroll with Drog. Drog is doing his absolute best to keep up. He is being just left. <laughs> oh my god. You know, I can really appreciate the fact that the designers were like, isn't Turtwig like a turtle? Perfect. I know exactly what I'm doing. Go full, full stop. Ooh, I just can't believe it. I'm so overjoyed with my Pikachu. Wherever I go, my Pikachu follows me without hesitation. <laughs> it's just the two of us. Woohoo! I mean, it's me, Jigglypuff, and Drog. Drog's doing his best. He's, and that's all we can ask of him, is he's doing his best. Turtles are really cute. I like to see the determination of turtles. How quick is his turning? Oh god, the man has zero turning as well. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> oh boy, I love it. Jigglypuff's just like, yep. I know. <laughs> I'll come here with my happy every single day. I can let it run free without any worries at all. Well, chat, are we bigger fans of Jigglypuff or Drog? I need to know. Who's the cutest Pokemon on my team? Melina, Fish, Jigglypuff, Drog, or Bob? Who is the cutest on my team right now? Bob. Bob's the cutest. Bob is pretty cute. I won't lie. He's a little cricket with a mustache. He's adorable. That's why when they said he's not cute, I was like, Pfft. in what fucking universe? Attractable. There we go. That's fucking useful. Oh, damn. Did you see Drog haul ass? Hold up. Hold up. Does my mans know how to get it? Look at this man run. Look at this unit. Look at him go. You may cook berries and turn them into poffins. No, not again. Not again. Oh, okay, well, I didn't think they'd be able to follow me that easily. Talk to your Pokemon, it occasionally finds things. Do you find anything, Drog? Drog seems to be happy, it can't keep still. She usually off is energetically jumping around. What's the sign mean? Hello? Trainer tips. Midi Square, you can use the right stick to move the camera around, view your walking partner Pokemon as much as you'd like. Oh, right and left to zoom in.
Okay. Oh, whoa. Are there like little play pins for the Pokemon? A spooky plate? Oh, no. Oh, God, they trapped me in. Guys. I was like, guys, guys, talk to me about it. I appreciate it, Gro Drog, but you're gonna have to get out the way. <laughs> you can't block me in here. Amulet coin? What? Okay, well, first off, Ghost Plate, pretty good. I don't have a Ghost Pokemon. These are ruins from a long time ago. A long, long time ago. I can't check my bag while I'm in here. Oh, well. Let's go see what the other lady has to say. This is wholesome. This is a cute little, like, distraction in the game. I love having, having little cute distractions like this. Are you enjoying your stroll? Should you just try to take, uh, talk to your Pokemon? it will be happy if you did. I talked to them. They're happy. Are you feeling refreshed? Please come again, okay? What? Well, the Pokemon that was taking a stroll with you wants to go out. Only special trainers can make their Pokemon feel that way. I'm pretty sure your Pokemon will be delighted if you let them out of their Pokeballs. Outside the square, too. You can do that. How the fuck do you do that? My Pichu seems delighted to be out of his Pokeball and to walk outside. I can tell because his cheeks are twitching like crazy. I actually almost use a Pikachu for this playthrough, but I'm just not a gigantic Pikachu. <gasps> He's following me now. Oh my god, that's amazing. Let's go, Drog. On an adventure. He's still going to try his best. That's all we can ask. His best. He'll get here. Drog, Drog never loses his way. He just keeps walking until he gets there. He's an unfaltering warrior. What the fuck typing is in here? Hello, trainer. How goes there? Challenge gym leader. Well, I had to bring it to you, but that's impossible. You're wondering why? The answer is she's not here. Damn. All right. Let's go, Drog. You know, weird thing. I really got to go pee. If you guys don't mind, I'm going to have a two-minute ad break before I fucking piss myself. I will be right back, if you guys don't mind. Um, three, yeah. Oh, here, I'll give you something to talk about. What is a really cute Pokemon for you, if you guys know Pokemon at all? What's, like, a really cute Pokemon? And if you don't have a cute Pokemon, give me a cute animal. I would love to hear.
Okay, I'm back. We're gonna talk to this lady. Oh, I'm so sorry. Please, excusez-moi. Are you entering a super contest show? Oh ho ho, enjoy yourself, please. Incidentally, Fantina, the hard home gym leader, also happens to be a super contest show expert. And you may ask yourself, how do I know this? Well, I am Fantina. You may challenge me, but not yet. You'll become much stronger. Then you may challenge me. What the hell's in here? Oh, my hero! Oh, hi, Jem! Wait, no, really? Johanna is your mom? So you might be a Super Contest Show star? Oh, I don't know about that. I've never spoken to Jem about Super Contest Shows. I'm surprised you two know each other, though. Oh, yes, that's right. I need to thank you for earlier. Please take this sticker. An ethereal sticker. I mean, cool for designs. Place a sticker on your po your uh, ball capsules before a show. It will lend a nice touch of sophistication and glamour. I'm a show judge, so come join us for all kinds of fun if you're unsure of yourself. We also offer practice sessions. Okay, John Johanna, I'll see you. Were you surprised to see me, Jim? Jim? I got bored, so I came out to Hearth Home for a little vacation. I'm just about as surprised as you're here, as you, you here, my dear. But are you serious about entering super contest shows, not dressed that way? It's your Pokemon's time to shine, so you shouldn't just be dressed your usual way. Put this on for a little glamour. I obtained a dress? Ooh. I'm sure it will good, look good on you. After all, I chose it. Go enjoy the super contest show, honey. Shows will give you a different look at many charms of Pokemon. It should be an eye-opening experience for you. Bye now. I'm gonna act like I know what this means or how to do this. I have no idea how to do this. Today's the day I'm definitely going to compete in a contest show. Yay, definitely! Are you going to enter a contest show too? I am. If your Pokemon is selected at the star of the show, they'll put up on a photo. Okay, that's pretty cool. So what do they have here? They got a Pikachu, a Cherubi. A uh, little, not a Mr. Mime, but you know, the the little one. A Luxray. And then, I don't, is that a Krogunk? I think it's a Krogunk. Welcome to the contest hall. This is a reception counter for Link Super Contest. Oh, no, 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 no. We're not doing no internet contest show. You're going to enter Super Contest shows, and yep, you have a Poffin case. Let me gift you with this fabulously wonderful Poffin. A mild Poffin. Feed that pop into a Pokemon you're going to enter in a contest show. Oh, and a word of advice, go take a run at the contest shows. However, the best way to get ready is to get some practice first. You can take a practice session at the counter on the right. I would love to take a practice session. Alright. Oh, there's tons of people here, Jesus. My boyfriend gets so nervous that he can't work up the courage to enter a contest show. What should I do? Every super contest show has three parts. Visual, dance, and a contest move. Each contestant will be great in those categories. Do ho ho! A Pokemon fed Poffins does better in visual evaluations. I better learn how to cook delicious Poffins at the Poffin House. Would you like to join a practice session? Yes. Please use a Pokemon to enter as well as its contest moves. Select. Um, we're 100% doing Melina. And we're gonna do... Wait. High points gained will increase by one if Groove is negative. Okay, we're gonna do, uh, Poison Fang. Please use a ball capsule to use in the contest show. Oh, your po your Pokemon has been accepted for entry. Your entry number is one. Damn, I gotta wait in this long-ass line. Good luck! Oh boy. I love the little Turtwig, Chimchar, and Piplup. Allow me to explain the rules of the contest show. The Super Contest Show begins with a visual evaluation. An evaluation of your Pokémon and the spe spectacle of its customized ball capsules. Ah. Okay. Next, the dance evaluation be will begin. Here, your Pokémon's rhythm will be evaluated. Notes will follow across the screen from the right. Press A button just as they overlap with the scoring area. Brilliant. Okay. Yo, I'm a genius. 
a genius. Notes stretched out into a line are called long notes. Hold the A button down for as long as the line stretches on. We're playing Guitar Hero in our Pokemon game. Dude, okay, I've played enough my my machine. I will win this every time. Also, the metronome in the background makes this very easy. Each time the gauge fills up completely, you'll receive one height point. Also, I feel like this uh, will not be here every time for the metronome. So, just once during the dance evaluation, you can press the X button to use a contest move. Ooh. Contest moves can give you height points. If you use your consecutively with other performers, you can pull off a move chain and receive even more height points. Huh. If the total of all four contestants' height points reaches a certain quota, the Super Contest show will be a success! Hmm. This is a weird setup. Skaroopy, Matchup, Psyduck, Cherubi. Single shows will all points. The hall rank will go up and the stage will go will grow fancier. That's pretty cool. We might have to do this every now and then then. I don't know, just as some, like, a little side thing. Um, just for anyone curious, though, I probably... That's all for the expansion. Would you like to try uh, try some practice? No, we're all good. I'll just go for it. Um, your, your other dog is super jealous when you pay attention to beef. Oh, I'm sure. Dogs get mad jealous. Mad jealous. Like everything else, the basics are important. Takes practice super contest shows. What's in here? In a contest show, you got to pull off a cool contest move, and it'll rack up a lot of hearts from the audience. If any other contestant show your moves off back to back, you'll score bonus points. Cool. Damn, that was a beefy ass machoke. For the dance evaluation, your sense of rhythm is the key. The more you hit the notes in time with the music, the higher your score will be. Yeah, I'll probably, be, I might be getting off a little soon, so I can go uh, just relax for a little bit. For the visual evaluation, it's very important to choose a Pokemon whose condition matches the category of the contest show. Just because I have a... Yes, 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 yes! Yes! Here, I'll probably do this one time real quick, and then I'll be good. Um, I may or may not be good, because we're at one hour and four minutes. We'll see. Welcome to the contest hall. I can help you with registering for a super contest show. Would you like to enter a Pokemon in the super contest show? Hello? Um, yes. Where are you at? Um, do you mind if I do one thing quickly, or do you need to, uh, leave right now? Well, I was just gonna finish up and then get off stream and then go do that, but... Okay. Okay. Okay, well, here, let me a second. Um, we'll chat. I will be... Back in probably a couple of minutes. I apologize for the leaving right after a bathroom break, but things happen, so I'll be back.
I apologize, guys. I had to go help a best friend with something. Okay, yes, we're gonna enter, and we're gonna do the contest. I'll probably... So now that I uh, end up having something different, I'll probably end up... Uh... What is it? I'll probably end up... No, 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 no. I'll probably do the, uh, what is it? I'll probably do the contest and a few other things. Now that I don't have to leave as early as I thought I did. Normal rank for sure. <laughs> Select yes. Please use a ball capsule to use in the contest show. Uh, this probably won't go well, but we'll see. <laughs> Good luck! Everyday style or contest? Uh, I mean, it can be cute. We'll go with the contest, why not? Entry number one, Jim and Mel Melina. Well, there we go, we got some hearts. Only a couple, but we got some hearts. Brook and Goldie, ooh. Ooh. A Goldine is beautiful. I wouldn't say Beezle's beautiful, though. Not this. Shut up, I'm doing a fucking rhythm game. Weirdly enough, it makes it harder, if that makes any sense. So dumb. <laughs> God damn it. Damn it. Because there's so few of them. Yeah, that's why mine's a, a door. This is a beauty contest. I know, my Skaroopy's winning. It's a hold. Yeah. Nope, I'm not. <laughs> not at all. This is really long, yo! <laughs> okay, there we go. <laughs> Bro, having long hair sucks, lol. Sometimes it does, sometimes it does. What a successful super contest show! You've got some hall something points. Yeah, some hall points. It's time to announce the stars of the show. It better be me. I literally had double arrow up the entire time. Yo. Oh, I didn't have any visual. Brilliant. Okay, so my, my dance was amazing. My move was okay. My visuals weren't at all. Because I, I used a random ball that I personally made for the Pokemon rather than for the contest. Because I forgot that was part of the contest. Yeah. But, um... What's that? Do you, do you not feel well? So it's not this one. Let's do that. Um... I don't know what that one is. <laughs> well, I gotta watch this shit with you. I'm sorry. Hold up. Post a fucking meme for you guys in Discord, bro. It shits. Oh, hold up. Copyrighted music. Copyrighted music. Uh, where do I share? Share to 
Hold up, I'm sharing this to Discord right now, guys. This shit's fucking funny. Post that shit. It's a fucking hilarious... Uh, what is it? Pokemon meme about slides. So what the fuck kind of sticker is considered beautiful is my question here. I don't understand. Because that would be cute. A cute... Releases a cute pink, a pink spiral. It releases... Hold up. Bitch is gonna be covered in fucking stickers, I guess. What the fuck, bro? <laughs> what do you want from me? I just I don't understand what this what this thing would possibly want from me with all with like what other stickers should I put on here? Fucking preview, I guess. The hell is this gonna look like? It's gonna give me a heart attack. A bunch of fucking symbols all over the damn place. Let's see here. What's it like now? Still, like, pretty cool. But I guess we're going for beauty, not cool. Let me try this again. Enter. Beauty. Normal. I want to be able to win one, you know? I believe that my Melina is beyond more beautiful enough, you know? Ruve will not drop for 15 seconds. I can use this wacky ass ball. This ball capsule better give me all of the points, alright? And I mean literally all of them. No, maybe I need to go in there with my everyday style. I need to look... What kind of problems do you usually get with your long hair, Lucy? Wesley and Dizzy! There we go, I got two hearts that time. Frickin' Goldie. I just had to cover it in fucking stickers, apparently. Apparently it doesn't matter what you're doing, just cover it in stickers. God damn it. This is fucking difficult for some reason. Okay. I'm trying way too hard. Always be a filthy tryhard. Talking automatically messes my my timing up so bad. I think I won. I think I won. I had because the my, I think my biggest issue is I had no points from the ball capsule earlier, so I feel like this will help a lot. Those keep me out of my face, and right now I'm Dutch braiding it. It takes forever, tiring the fuck out of my arms. Lol. Oh, and br and brushing it. Yes, brushing it can be difficult. 
Jam and Melina. Melina. My visual was apparently shitty still. My dance was beyond amazing. And my move was okay. I'll have to figure out whatever the ball thing is for. A beauty sticker for your reward. Okay, thank you. Well, I just need to know that my Pokemon was beautiful. That's all I needed. Oh, you'll walk together with Melina? <gasps> I can? She's so cute. I can walk around with any of them? Wait a second. Can I walk around with my big boy? Oh, he is. My, my big guy. Man, this motherfucker runs! Yeah, we're gonna walk with, uh... Actually, I wonder how Bob walks. Walk with Bob. Bob doesn't like he's a very fast walker. Oh, because he fucking flies, that's why. He's a cricket, after all. We're gonna walk with Melina. I'm enjoying Melina. Oh, Jesus. Melina is not a... Yeah, she's also not a very fast walker. <laughs> she's like Drog. She gets there when she gets there. Right? Eventually. So where's the gym leader, you ask? I can't precisely say, but I have a hunch that she'll return one day. But only after you visit other places, I think. Yeah, I'm sorry, I'm not... I'm not more useful. My advice giving needs work. <laughs> Bruh. Okay. Lameo. I thought I'd been fighting the gym leader here, but I guess not. Ta-da! Come me waiting again, Gem. Let's see how much tougher you and I've gotten. Right here and now. Hey, you're a trainer now. You expect to be ready for a battle? No whining, no waiting. Let's get the show started. No, 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 no. Let's go. Let's go. Oh, I got, I got a full fucking team. What you got? It's not a Braviary yet? What the fuck? Why? Hmm. Funny enough, I'm gonna go and do this first. I'm gonna go and throw out Toxic Spikes, and then I'm gonna dip. Ah, good choice! Good choice! Good choice for me. Your evasiveness rose, and I can immediately go into, uh, let's see here, you are a flying type, so I need to go ahead and go into beach. He may, he may be ground, but he's also rock, so guess what beats the fuck out of a bird? You know what will always defeat a bird? A rock. Yeah, that did not work real well, did it? That sucks. Double de Oh, I see the game you're playing. Good morning, good sir. Well, good morning, Lucy. We are going to be spamming SmackDown until it eventually hits. And sadly, it looks like, uh... Oh my god, Starly. Starly's just maxing out its evasiveness, apparently. And I really don't appreciate that. You know, I will just use this until it hits you. I don't care. Are we being serious right now? Is this actually the game we're fucking playing? Such a weird game we're choosing to play. I mean, I hope he realizes that he does no damage to me, and I will just spam this until one lands. I was about to say, you can't... You can get away with it for a while, but eventually you do have a cutoff point. Damn. You hate to see it. Jigglypuff level 29. Roselia? Um... We're looking at Poison Grass, right? I think Poison Grass is... Roselia? I don't really have anything particularly good against Roselia. I mean, it's Poison Grass, so I think Ground actually does win, weirdly enough. Right? Oh yeah, I'll show you something wicked, too! Ah, uh, nope. Alright. Well, he's gonna use a Grass-type move. So I'm just going to switch over to, um, there we go. This is going to look really weird when I post it, but it's going to be like me randomly cutting out. Got it. Hear that out. Okay, there's that. I believe we got the pop-out chat. 
this, uh, get this, uh, There we go. Okay, well, I guess we're going to finish up this, uh... Hello there. This battle here. Welcome back in, Lucy. My stream crashed. Or, technically, my whole PC crashed. I didn't do anything yet. I was just... I spent my whole time fixing it. But, um, absolutely, Lucy. Let me, uh, finish up this battle, and then I'll probably play Rainbow Six right after we get done with this battle. Because, you know, obviously, my laptop needs to take a rest or something. But I wanted to finish this real quick. Um... So, what was I doing? I think I was switching to Melina. Or... Yeah. Melina. I was wondering what happened, lol, and okay. Yeah, it just... My computer did the freaking big frowny face, and then it turned itself off, and I was like, okay. Man, that would have fucking murdered my Pokemon had I stayed out. I'll use Bite. I'll make her flinch. Come on now. Yes. Yes. Here we go. Make her flinch again. Dude. Damn it. I'll say, come on. Come on. Make her flinch. Please. Keep doing it. I'm gonna wonder, how high is my, uh... How high is my... Um, 32, 23. Yeah, so literally the opposite of each other. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and go with Poison Fang. Poison Fang's gonna, I think it's gonna have the, uh, extra, you know, do more damage because I'm a Poison type kind of thing, you know? Extra stab bonus. You went poof for my screen, limit. <laughs> yeah, I wasn't trying to go poof. That shit just kind of happens. Good level up for Drog. Good, good. Drog wants to learn Mega Drain. Um, absolutely. Um, I don't know if Curse is better. Razor Leaf's a physical move? Really? The special attack's not very high, so I'll probably do Curse. I'll keep Mega Drain in there in case it levels up its defense. In case a monster levels up its defense. Plus, Growth only levels up offense, so I'm trying to make Drog, like, tanky more than anything else, so... This will help him out be uh, tanky. Bippity boppity poof! The stream said Avada Kedavra! <laughs> Avada Kedavra! Slash? How good is Slash? We're gonna attack with a Slash of Claws or Blades. Grow takes land more easily. Ooh, probably Absorb. I don't see Absorb really working too well. Struggle Bug. Yeah, especially with him having really high attack, this could be brutal. Absorb, it just, it's not a really powerful move, so we'll go with this one. That would help me hit stuff that is, like, strong against bug, just with raw damage, you know? Switch Pokemon, Monferno. Monferno indeed. Actually, Monferno's a fucking fighting type, isn't it? That makes this very dangerous for me. Makes this a very dangerous fight, because if you, with his fighting type moves, this could be bad. This could be really, really bad. What I'll probably do though is I might go with Scary Face. Am I faster? Yep, I knew I knew he was faster. So I'm immediately go, gonna go with Scary Face to slow him down. That was a good play then. Good play. I didn't think it was a good play, but out of nowhere, bet top tier. Okay, Bulldoze. This will actually slow his speed as well, I believe. Oh nope. Damn! How much is the heal? 61 up to? 7 HP is not bad. It's a little bit of HP. Just just, just enough, I would say. Melina wants to learn knockoff? What the fuck does that do? User slaps on target's held item, and that item can't be used in that battle. The move does more damage target has a held item. 65. Ooh, that's apparently a really good move. Um... Bite's really fun, though. I might use knockoff, because Bite's fun, but knockoff could be really good. Plus, it just already does more damage, so... Yeah, we'll go with that. We'll go with that. 
It's a move I've never used before, so it'd be interesting in my opinion. Weasel? Yes, I need to switch Pokemon if I'm gonna fucking fight Weasel. There ain't no goddamn way. Um, plus it's Stealth Rock, so I don't really think it matters. Plus I've Mega Drain, so I'll heal back whatever I take in damage as well. And then Drog is also so tanky that it should be fine. Wait. Why'd the Stealth Rock not hit me? Ah, there it is. We're gonna curse real quick. Oh, perfect. Perfect. So that lowers my speed, buffs me quite a lot. So now, even if he does hit me with something that works, it's gonna do less damage. Because I'm a legendary str strategist. I can already- you fucking lowered my defense as soon as I buffed it, you ass. You know what? Now you have to use it a second time, and you're gonna be really upset. You know why? Mega Drain hurts like a bitch. Bro. <laughs> Thank you for the full heal! I appreciate it. I was looking forward to that. Yeah, you need to debuff me a little bit more. What the? We're in trouble! Well, I won't give up so easily! Oh, you're gonna bite me, motherfucker? Okay. Oh, you wanna bite? I'll let you know, Drog bites back! His bite is way worse than his bark! He doesn't know how to bark! Do turtles know how to bark? They might. <laughs> I'm not, I've not read up on my turtle lore. What just happened? You're telling me I lost? Yeah, you put a fucking water type out versus my grass type, bro. Of course you lost. You killed my team again! This messes up my dream of becoming the greatest trainer ever! No, I just need to get tougher and keep winning. One day, that's it. I'm gonna challenge the Veilstone Gym next. See you around, Gym. You'll be blown away by how much tougher I'll be next time we meet. The Veilstone Gym. Where's the Veilstone Gym? Arthon. Jalicion. Astiora. Oh, we're going over here. Okay. So we're going to the right. Alright. Well, let's heal up. Let's walk forward a little bit. And then I'll probably get off for the night. Because I also had an allerg allergic reaction today, so I need to kind of chill out, let my eye rest, wipe off my makeup. You know. That, and I need to, get, I need to really catch up on some editing. I'm really fucking behind. That, and I played this again today. I'll probably maybe chill out on the Pokemon just a little bit. And, um, I might, like I said, I might play some, like, Hyrule Warriors or something. I'd really enjoy that. Uh, oh, boy. Melina. Poor girl. She's running after me as fast as she can. Her little legs can only go so fast. There's a right stone pillar up ahead. I wonder what it is. Very curious. We will see, we will see. Now I see we're gonna already be going into stuff, so we'll, we'll check this out next time. We'll save now, and um, actually, let's check up on the egg. Does the egg have any more progress done? Not the bag. It would be Pokemon. Probably nowhere near. Eggs take forever to hatch, as far as I understand. Doesn't seem close to hatching. Nope, hasn't even changed stages yet. Okay. Well, I appreciate all the support. I will see you guys next time. And as always, this has been your boy Gamer. Three, two, one. Later, losers. Have a good night. Ooh, this is in my way. There we go.